good Wednesday evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. Any minute now, state health officials are expected to release their updated map of communities considered high risk for COVID-19 infection. Currently, South Hadley is the only community considered high risk in red. Granby, which was considered high risk a couple weeks ago, is now back to white with fewer than five reported cases. This data driving decisions in these communities and raising questions about how the virus is spreading. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live with more. Audrey. Officials in South Hadley say most people are following the rules, wearing masks and maintaining six feet of social distance. However, the town administrator says it only took one party to throw the community into the high risk category on the state's COVID-19 map. The tracing quickly identified the source as a party outside of town uh, that uh, some 19 uh, to 20 year olds uh, attended. What happened in Amherst certainly didn't stay in Amherst. South Hadley Town Administrator Michael Sullivan tells Western Mass News a party in that town led to 12 out of the 18 cases of COVID-19 in his town. When we spoke to the uh, governor's team, uh, COVID uh, response team, uh, they were very interested in that phenomenon. The party, which Sullivan says took place in an apartment, is not the only example of one event causing a COVID-19 ripple effect. Researchers from the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT claim the February Biogen Conference in Boston led to 20,000 coronavirus cases by May. Maybe there is a little feeling of invinci invincibility. As for South Hadley, a college town bordering another college town, Sullivan believes more public health messaging needs to be geared towards young people. He says he's less concerned about the students living at the schools and more concerned about those off campus. That's the kind of interaction that's going to uh, challenge us as far as controlling the virus. In Granby, the town went from a high risk community back to only having a handful of cases in a short period of time. However, the school district made the decision to begin fully remote on September 15th. As for when they transfer into their phased in hybrid instruction is still up in the air, according to documents sent to parents. We're basically just waiting on the Board of Health to tell the school what they can and cannot do. Kim Goldsmith has children in the Granby elementary school. Even when students go back for the hybrid plan, Goldsmith says parents are unsure if the school would be closed down again should the town flip back into the red high-risk category. If I was a single parent or I had a job that required me to be there 40 hours or more a week, this would be super stressful. Even flipping back and forth from this red and this white. Again, we are awaiting the latest data on these communities from state health officials. We'll continue to update you both on air and online with the latest. Reporting live, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.